Hi, this is uh, Sunil from Hindran Engineering. We are at a site where we have installed a 3 kilowatt on-grid uh, rooftop solar PV system. This is also one of our sites where we have done a agro photovoltaic system that is doing a little bit of guarding below the solar panels to increase the efficiency and effective utilization of the space. As you are all aware, the on-grid or the grid tie system is one of the most popular and the simplest configuration in a rooftop solar PV system. How this works is, the power produced by the solar panels is interfaced with the power utility grid or the discoms. The energy generated by the solar panels is first consumed by the loads. Any excess generated will be exported to the power utility grid. Any deficiency in power production is managed by importing the power from the power utility grid. A net metering arrangement is made for the purpose of billing. This is explained in the description below and is also a video link given below. The inverter is the brain of the solar PV system. There are many kinds of inverters available like the string inverter, optimizer, micro inverter, hybrid inverter, central inverter and so on. Over the last year, we have been installing micro inverters in all our rooftop PV system. This is, this is a micro inverter. It is uh, from a company called Enphase uh, from USA. There are many advantages of a micro inverter. In a micro inverter setup, each micro inverter is connected to a solar panel. So, each panel behaves as an independent unit. That is, in a say about a 3 kilowatt or a 5 kilowatt system comprising of 8 to 15 panels, each panel behaves as an individual unit. So, the if there is any uh, shadow or any uh, reduction in uh, production in any one solar panel, that does not affect the performance of the other panel. Unlike a string inverter setup where all the panels are connected in series. The other advantage of uh, micro inverter is this very, very, very minimal DC wiring. As you can see, this is the only DC wiring in the entire setup. Since the entire thing is a AC configuration, there is no high voltage DC built up on the roof. So, this makes it a very, very safe system. Since the configuration is an AC configuration and all the panels are connected in parallel, it eliminates the requirements of a DC DB or a DC distribution board. So, that means there is no arcing problem, there is no arc fault and there is no need of a DC earthing as well. The other advantage of a micro inverter setup is since each panel is independent of the other panel, say after a few years if there is a breakdown of any one panel, only that panel can be replaced without compromising the efficiency of the entire system. This would not happen in a string inverter setup where there will be significant mismatch losses. The other advantage of a micro inverter is it is very very foolproof. This is a micro inverter which converts the DC from the solar panels into grid compatible AC power. Even the AC power is transmitted using a Q cable. This is the cable which is used to connect from inverter to inverter. As you can see this is a very easy press fit foolproof wiring. So, this gives a very rigid connection and there is no chance of any loose contact or breaking of wire or any kinds of fault in the AC wiring as well. The next advantage of using a micro inverter is it is a very futuristic design. This is a IQ 7 plus inverter. This is also capable of making your entire system grid agnostic. That is as you know in a grid tie system, the presence of grid is mandatory for the working of the system. In a micro inverter configuration, it is possible to use the same inverter, connect it to, to something called as ensemble which we will explain in the subsequent videos and make the entire setup as a grid agnostic system. So, this has multiple advantages. Also, this micro inverter comes with a 10 year warranty which is also extendable. Unlike the other string inverters available in the market which only gives a 5 years warranty. This is the uh, ACDB or the AC distribution board. 
the power generated from the solar panels is uh, interfaced into the grid through this uh, distribution board. Here you can see all the protections like the ELCB, MCB and the SPD. We have got the generation side meter. This is the bidirectional meter which is used for uh, billing. This is called the envoy. This picks up the production data from the solar panels and it is transmitted to the cloud through this uh, system. The best part about the micro inverter is it gives us module level data and it helps us monitor the entire system at the very, very minute level. As I had mentioned earlier, one of the best features of the micro inverter setup is its module level monitoring feature. Since they are all independent units, it is very easy to monitor the plant at the module level. The fault finding and troubleshooting becomes very easy because of this feature. One of the other good features of end phase micro inverter setup is its capability of measuring not only the production from the solar panels, it is also possible to measure the consumption within the utility. This will help us become more efficient and reduce our consumption. We can monitor all this through the web app, through the iPad or through the phone. We will also get historical data like the weekly data, monthly data, yearly data and so on. One can also customize the data to match the building cycle. Thank you very much.